thanks for watching another one of my videos here everyone um, in this one I'm gonna show you guys how to fix a, an update issue I was having with Windows Server 2008 uh, this could work with pretty much any update issue you're having on any platform I'm just using Server 2008 because I was uh, I was getting this error so I figured out how to fix it so I figured I'd just make a video guys and show you how to do it so first things first, I'm going to show you guys what the error was and then I'm going to uh, show you how to fix it. I just logged into my server here and uh, because I've already fixed the issue, I'm going to just pull up the uh, the event viewer for the error. And all it was, was it, it just, um, I was doing my updates, so I went to Windows Updates over here and I just, uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this this system here. And I just went to install updates. I had four, one installed, and three kept failing. And I tried it over and over, and it just the three kept failing and failing. They were like security updates, so I'm like, I, I wanted them. So I did a little research and I figured out how to fix the error. But uh, to look at your errors, anyways, you can go to uh, administrative tools here. Again, guys, I am using Server 2008. Um, I can show you how to do this with. Windows 7 and XP and everything but it's the same thing it's just not an administrative tools but you just want to get to your event viewer and to get to event viewer in like Windows 7 and Windows XP you can just go to my computer or computer uh, right click go to manage and then you'll get takes a little bit here and again this is my server so might not help you guys with this but if you're using Windows or XP you'll get um, here I'll show you diagnostics and then event viewer if you were using Windows 7 or XP or Vista or blah 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 you would hit my computer or computer right click hit manage and then you're gonna get something similar to this it's just not gonna be server manager and then on the side here, on the left hand side, you're going to see um, Event Viewer. And you just click on it. You're going to see things like uh, disk management and all that stuff. Um, well, I'm, having, I'm drawing a blank here for a sec, guys. Just woke up. Wife and kid are gone for a whole week and a half. So, I had some memory loss throughout the night. Anyways. So yeah, we're in Event Viewer, so now I need to drill down to the Windows Update. So you can expand it here. Um, you can go to Windows. You can go through all these if you want. Like I'm kind of just showing you Event Viewer now, because now I'm in here. Anyways, what we're looking for is in Applications and Services. Let me just expand this here. And then you want to go to Microsoft, and then you want to go to Windows. doesn't give you much of a choice but here as you can see of whole choice and you can check the events on pretty much anything so anyways I want to go to uh, Windows update client open and operational and here it's gonna show me errors I've encountered doing updates get a couple warnings there and here's my error so when you double click on it you'll get this and you might be thinking okay what what does all this mean? You know, event ID is good. You can go to Google, type in event ID, and then this number, and that should help you. But you have to subscribe to it's a website called Event ID, and you have to pay for it. And it will like pretty much show you how to fix any event ID error. It, I, th I don't think it's expensive. I never really did it, but I don't know. I'm not here to talk about that. Anyways, so what I did is I went to details, and I got the actual like error code, which is right here. So that's the error code I received when uh, my updates were not installing. Okay, eight zero zero seven zero 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 three. Okay, so you can research that. That's what you want to research is that error code. So to fix that error code and some similar to it, any update issue. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete a couple folders. So you want to go to Start, uh, Computer, or My Computer, 
if you're using like XP and computer if you're using like 7 and Vista I'm personally using 8 and don't get me going I love it but I'm still not video ready enough to navigate it all right now I haven't paid much attention to it yet I'm still doing a lot of reading on it a lot of cool stuff with Windows 8 but you know that's another video so we're going to go to uh, the, the C drive and uh, Windows then you're going to want to go down here until you reach software distribution double click and then you want to go to the data store and you just can highlight everything and delete it I'm not going to because I've already done it I'm serious this works so just delete everything in the data store uh, delete everything in download so delete all that anything you have it's not gonna it's not gonna delete your your updates your updates are still gonna be installed and to view that you can go to control panel um, where is it programs and features and then up here view installed updates and you'll get your your list of updates you have installed on your computer all right so don't worry like deleting that folder is not gonna delete those oh my bad guys sorry before you delete those folders I, I need to stress this I totally forgot about this I was getting sidetracked with everything uh, before you delete those folders you need to stop the service but anyways stop your service so you can go to uh, start admin tools services or again you can go to my computer manage and again it'll be different for 7 and XP and all that and I believe it's in um, where would it be configuration sorry configuration hit services same screen see it's the same thing just two different ways of getting there Microsoft loves to do that and if you guys ever go to write a Microsoft exam you need to learn your goddamn paths which to me I can find is retarded but anyways again I'm getting sidetracked so you just want to go down here scroll down uh, Windows update it started uh, it's automatic delayed starts what that means is it's not gonna start Windows update right when your computer starts it's gonna delay it because it, you know it's kinda heavy on your computer so you just double click it hit stop and then I guess you can hit start right after because you already deleted those folders I'm just gonna leave a damn note in the video to not delete the folders so anyways and that's uh, that's it so now you can rerun your uh, your update so you can just go to uh, what I usually do is start all programs and with Windows 7 XP and blah 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 it's usually when you hit start all programs Windows update is usually up here in the top it just looks a little different because I am using the server so uh, yeah hit Windows update and then you'll have that little uh, box here to, to click you know check for updates it's gonna check it's gonna uh, say you have like three or four or ten and then it's gonna say install updates and you install it and you're done so hopefully that helps you guys and uh, sorry if the video is a little long and you know I kind of ranted off on a few things but uh, I've it's been a while since I've recorded a video I think it's been like over a month I've just been busy with studying and everything so but uh, stay tuned and um, yeah you're gonna see a lot more with Windows 2008 and we're gonna get into exchange and all that stuff so uh, if you're interested stick around subscribe uh, like the video and uh, thanks for watching guys have a great day